All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas I am recording this commentary on International Women's Day for crying out loud I would for once like to show a little bit of support for all of the true Goddesses out there as you guys know, I'm a gynecologist so you could say that my job is uh, Relatively important to society, but sometimes when I go home from work after a hard laborious day I lay down in my bed and I ask myself one question which is where would this country be without all of these hard-working only fans models? I mean if you think about it without all of these hard-working women this country would be a piece of shit Anyways, you guys showed a lot of support the first time I made one of these videos and that was also more geared towards how much money they're making per month This time it's gonna be ranked on the amount of subscribers they have and we're also gonna talk about how hot they are for all of you horny bastards out there I will do my best to show visual evidence on screen okay some of these models though they do not take pictures with clothes on so I'm gonna have to cover them up a little bit okay I don't make the rules bro YouTube makes them I just follow them if you want to be mad at someone go get mad at Susan for all I give a shit okay another thing to keep in mind fellas is that beauty is subjective okay so like what I may think is hot on a woman maybe she has really big tits okay and and you're just not into that maybe you don't like that maybe you are a man that likes women with big noses okay because you like to fucking lick them boogers out of the cave I don't know dude maybe you're into some weird shit okay that's just I'm not into that but anyways if you guys would like to see this series continue please be sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below which is your favorite model from today's video and without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into it here starting us off here we have an honorable mention because this is a top five list as you can tell by the title you've probably heard of this model before she goes by the name of Bella Delphine personally I don't find Bella to be that attractive I'm just not into like the anime uwu ahigo shit but clearly a lot of people are because in the lifetime of her account she has had over 300,000 subscribers and the real kicker here is that she charges $35 a month okay that comes out to a little over 11 million dollars this girl is clearly cashing the fuck out with all of her gamer girl bathwater and gamer girl condoms. And now she's out here making adult films. Bro, this girl is genius. Although she's not my type, I have a lot of respect for her. And with that being said, let's move on. Coming in at the number five spot on the list, we have Francia James. Now she has had a little over 350,000 subscribers and she charges $10 a month. That comes out to about $3.5 million. And I'm not gonna lie here, fellas. I don't know how I feel about Francia, all right? I don't mind girls that are a little on the muscular side. Like I personally like that just because I like the gym and shit like that but this girl looks like she'd take your fucking lunch money bro she has an absolute eight pack that i have never seen on a woman before now i'm a dude that loves big titties right but when it comes to francia her tits are just a little out of proportion they are way too goddamn big for her chest don't get me wrong sometimes she can look all right but uh i don't know man for the most part she's just not really my type i guess and i apologize all right i know i'm doing a lot of covering up when trying to display the visual evidence here but guys i'm not kidding when i say this francia does not take pictures with her clothes on there was literally nothing on the internet i could find where she looked either attractive or she didn't have her titties hanging out anyways coming in at the number four spot you've probably heard of her before she goes by the name of Mia McClova. I hope I pronounced that right. She's had 462,000 subscribers and she only charges a measly $6. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty shocked when I saw this because she has a lot of content on her page too. She uploads shit like literally every day and she's doing it for only 2.7 million. I know that sounds kind of crazy to think like, oh, Dr. Bolo, it's just 2.7 million? That's fucking it? That's still a lot of money, but when you put her in perspective, with everyone else on this list like she's working for fucking pennies at this point not really but I mean you guys get what I'm trying to say anyways if you've never heard of Mia before she's got an ass that don't quit bro she's literally got that dump truck on her honestly I don't know how you couldn't like Mia because let's be real she's a blonde she's got big tits she's got a bigger ass and she's hot as fuck bro if you don't like Mia you're probably fucking gay okay 
All right, and moving on to the number three spot, we have Kimmy Granger. Kimmy has had just a little under 500,000 subscribers, and she charges $13 a month. That comes in at $6.4 million. I don't really mean to brag in a YouTube video or anything like that, but I've played a lot of Call of Duty with Kimmy Granger, okay? You can kind of say that I'm a big deal at this point. Obviously, Kimmy is really successful, and she clearly has a lot of people that find her attractive. This may sound a little crazy when I say this, but I really just don't think she's, like, that great looking, in my opinion. I don't know, dude. She's just a little too skinny for me. I just, I just like thick girls that got a fucking dump truck on them. A big caboose. And, uh, Kimmy, Kimmy just ain't got that. But anyways, that's enough. Okay, I think you guys get the idea by now. Let's move on to number two, and this is Karma RX. Karma has accomplished a little over 500 thousand subscribers and here's another kicker fellas she charges 30 goddamn dollars a month that puts her at the number one spot she has racked in a little over 15 million dollars the dude who cures cancer will probably make 15 million dollars and karma's out here doing it showing her asshole on the internet I'm not gonna lie, I would be shocked if you've never heard of Karma before. She is all over Twitter. I don't know how she does it, but she does a fantastic job getting her name out there. If you're not into tattoos, you're probably not gonna be into her, but overall, I think she's pretty decent looking, but not as good looking as the number one spot, ladies and gentlemen. We have Jim Wolfie. Jim has accomplished a little over 720,000. I don't think you fucking heard me there. Turn your goddamn speakers up. 700 in 20,000 subscribers and she only charges $10 a month. That puts her at 7.2 million. That's what's crazy about OnlyFans, dude, is the way that these chicks price themselves. Although Jim has literally had 200,000 more subscribers, she's making half the money that Karma is, which is just fucking mind-boggling to me. But anyways, I really don't feel like I need to say much here about Jim, okay? Jim could get it any goddamn day of the week. Jim is very well known for her fitness, but for me, it just seems a lot more natural the way that she's built when compared to uh, Francia. Francia is just like way over the top. However, I think Jim has literally all the right curves in all the right places, fellas. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys would like to continue to see this series here on the channel, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe like share this with someone you know maybe send it to your grandma maybe Graham is trying to learn who are the top five only fans models on the website but anyways guys that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like if you enjoy the content and i will catch you guys next time later All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas i know that we typically like to clown on women here on the channel that's really not much of a secret but today i just can't help myself i may have found the dumbest man alive now listen listen i am a doctor for crying out loud i am a gynecologist the best in my state i might add i am a man of science and with that I am a man of equality. I do not appreciate the slander that these goddamn unicorns are throwing around on me. You are just a hater, Dr. Bolo. You are just mad because women are so successful and you are not. Shut the f up, you goddamn motherfucking unicorn! Shut up! Guys, just a quick reminder, if you happen to see any goddamn unicorns down in the chat, will you please drop an STFU in their face? Which happens to stand for STOP TROLLING FOR UNICORNS AND SHUT THE FUCK UP! Fellas, I want to apologize. I am very sorry for what you just had to witness. Everything was going really great until that longhorn bitch came up in this video. Anyways, I don't want you guys to think that I'm too biased here, so obviously we're going to clown on a dude here in a minute. But first, I am so proud to announce I have finally written a prescription on Twitter. Check this out right here, fellas. I found a female that was asking for money from a bunch of simps. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was really proud of that prescription. I did a fantastic job signing my name on that piece of paper. All to get blocked! All to get blocked, dude! First off, there are two really important things that stand out about this situation. Number one, she has 140,000 followers, and most of her tweets get like 4 to 10 likes. If I was in that situation, dude, I would probably set my testicles on fire. That's not even the craziest part about this situation, fellas. This girl is selling pictures of her goddamn butthole online for three dollars! For three fucking dollars, man! You can't even go to McDonald's and order off the goddamn dollar menu and walk out paying less than $3. I am getting really wound up at the moment and we haven't even gotten to the meat and potatoes of this video. All right, let's do this. So I found this post on a women's only subreddit, okay? I want you guys to realize that because these women were not very happy with this man. He says, can you change a girlfriend into a friends with benefits? I've got a girlfriend having been going out for six months and were exclusive, who I like a lot, maybe even love, but she's just not the right sort of person for me to have as a girlfriend. I'm an introvert, she's an over the top extrovert, a wild dresser, very sexual, very friendly to one and all, but a good bit too much for me. She says she loves me, but love isn't the point here, she's just not a person I'm going to feel comfortable with in the long term. At the same time, she's fun beyond words, great in bed, treats me like a king, is far smarter than I am, but doesn't lord it over me, is the hottest, best looking woman I've ever been with by a factor of 27. She's probably perfect for 9 out of 10 guys, but not me. With my quieter nature, my desire for more conservative tastes and girlfriend, etc, etc. So I know myself, I think, I know her, I think, Jesus, dude. Dude, will you please type some goddamn English and we're just not a good match for a long-term relationship which is my ultimate goal somewhere down the road okay when I read this message fellas I see a young man that has a golden opportunity something that only like one in a million dudes would ever even come close to experiencing and he's about to turn it down I just want to slap the fuck out of him and be like bro what are you doing man like god forbid you actually have a girlfriend that's great in bed is hot is really outgoing why don't you tell us how big her fucking titties are and how much money she has in her bank account too bro do you know how many dudes would be willing to swim in a pool full of hippo shit set themselves on fire and then slaughter a rhinoceros with their own bare hands just to even have an opportunity to be with this girl but anyways that's not it okay he then says that being the case, I'd sure love to have her as a friends with benefits, leaning slightly more on the friend side of the equation, but the benefits would be necessary too. But can such a switch be made, and if so, how could it be done? I'm not talking about her own love feelings for me, but about mine for her, which I'd also somehow have to deal with. I don't know, has anyone ever been in a relationship with someone you know is not good for you, but who you want to see in some capacity anyway? Does it ever come to good or does it always go to bad? All right, listen, fellas, if I could give this man any advice, you know, from one gynecologist to another man, just ask her. Just ask her, yeah, just say, hey, babe, you know, look, I know that you are literally perfect, but you're a little too outgoing, and you just talk a little too fucking much, okay? I just, I don't like to talk. I'm a pussy. I want to sit inside and play video games all goddamn day. I really hate looking at how hot you are, and then you just, you talk to me, you know, and it just pisses me off. I'm sure you would understand, you know, okay, I'm just gonna throw something out there. How about instead of dating, we just, uh, every like Tuesday night, you come over to my house, you give me a little sloppy toppy, I will blow my load and hit the road, okay? You have nothing to worry about at that point. I think that's pretty good, dude. If you just word it exactly like that, honestly, you can steal that. Just steal what I just said and just like play it over a radio. I think it'll actually go really good obviously that's a lot of sarcasm because the way he describes himself 
is he's like a five, maybe a six on a good day. And he just happened to strike the lottery and get himself with a fucking 10. This is your once in a lifetime opportunity and you're gonna fuck this up. Like, look, dude, I, and I'm being dead ass when I say this, okay? If you are going to make a post like this, you need to slander your girlfriend a little more. You need to talk a lot of shit about her. Maybe she gives blowjobs with her fucking teeth. Maybe her pussy feels like sandpaper. I don't know, dude. Just make something up. You are making her look too good, which in return makes you look like a sack of shit. I literally don't know what to tell this guy other than he is the dumbest motherfucker to ever walk this earth. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to let me know your opinions down in the comments section below. And also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And leave a like if you enjoy the content only, though. If you do not enjoy today's content, you can leave a dislike if you would like to. Or hear me out, hear me out. We just, uh, we could just act like this never happened, you know? Maybe you didn't watch this video? I don't know who you are. We could just, uh, go our separate ways in life and just act like this never happened. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, I know we like to clown on people that look like this. Clearly, he has never felt the touch of a woman before. This is your typical incel here. Now, there's another species out there that is not getting the disrespect that they deserve and that is the female incel. Now, I know what a lot of you might be thinking right now. Dr. Bolo, there's no such thing as a female incel. There's no way. Oh, you just f***ing wait, bucko. There is literally a dedicated group of women out there that have one goal in mind, one common goal, you could say, and that is they only want to see men fail and women succeed. Don't believe me? Take a look right here on a female-only subreddit. She says, men are literally encouraged to treat us like sh and when I first read this, I was like, what? There's no way. And then I remembered, wait, she actually might be right. The other day, I went to a restaurant. I opened up the door myself, and I turned around to see if anyone was right behind me so I could hold the door open for them. And I noticed a female that was smaller than me. It was clearly going to take her a lot more effort to open the door than it did me. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, you motherfucker, you're in for a treat right now, you fucking bitch. So I purposely shut the door behind me. I didn't let that bitch close on its own. No, no, no. I turned around, I grabbed that goddamn handle, and I slammed that bitch shut. However, I must say, if that was a man behind me that was walking up to the door, I would gladly hold that door open for him. I really hope most of you have found out by now that this is a made-up story. No one fucking thinks like that, right? Like, if you're just a decent human being, you'll open up the door, you'll turn around, and if someone's within a reasonable distance, you might stand there for a couple seconds and hold the door, but I'm not looking at you to see, oh, this is a female, oh, fuck this bitch. I'm not even looking at you to see what color race or how big your goddamn titties are. Like, I don't fucking care, bro. I care about one thing, and that is when I turn around, am I going to have to stand here for 15 seconds, or is it going to be five, you know? Like, that's literally all I care about. But that is not the way the female incel minds think. It just simply doesn't work like that. Now, that's just one female. Take a look at this girl right here. She posts on Twitter, men deserve happiness too. Nothing wrong with that tweet. I mean, fuck, I, I, I appreciate it. But look at the nasty replies that she got. And these are all females, by the way. Another case of pick me -itis? during women's month R really are you being forced to post this like are you fucking kidding me dude how big of a goddamn loser do you have to be i mean you literally have to sit at your computer all day long and just think 
oh, there's a man out there succeeding in life, and that's just fucking bullshit. Clearly, I'm not the most innocent man in this situation because uh, we all know what kind of people I like to clown on on this channel. With that being said, though, I really feel like most of the time when I make fun of people, it's justified, bro. It just is. Like, for instance, if a woman tries to explain how good she is at video games, you can just go ahead and assume she's lying, okay? I think that's pretty much common sense at this point and it goes both ways bro it honestly does because if i was to try and tell a group of females like oh ladies you wouldn't believe how good i am at makeup do you think they're honestly gonna take me seriously basically what i'm trying to get at here fellas is that respect is something that goes both ways i don't know about you maybe i'm the crazy one here but i just haven't seen a lot of dudes that make posts like this on twitter if you want to act like a hoe you're gonna get treated like a hoe and speaking of that, I would like to write this girl a prescription today. One hoe to go, please. Ma'am, you are welcome to stop by my office anytime you would like, and I would be more than happy to give you that prescription. Damn, dude, that really felt good. I don't mean to act like this, guys, but when I was writing that prescription, I really feel like I had an out-of-body experience right there. I swear to God, dude, when I was signing my name on that piece of paper, I really truly felt like I was floating three feet above the ground right there, and I was watching myself in third person sign that i feel like it changed man now it's fucking crazy anyways we haven't even broke into the actual story that i would like to be covering i have just been spewing shit out of my asshole and i somewhat apologize for that but anyways without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into it fellas so this girl starts off really strong by saying men get off on treating women like shit there has not been a single time where a man praised another man for treating a woman with respect. Everything that they praise each other for is directly related to treating women in the shittiest way possible. A guy manages to easily get into a woman's pants on the first date. What a player. All guys envy him. Guys, I actually have a really good example for this. You guys remember the female that I showed you earlier in this video? Uh, yeah, this one. On that post she made, first off, uh, oh yeah, there, there's the OnlyFans link. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, I just want to clear that up. Um, but below that post, she has a bunch of simps, of course, you know? And I just happened to pick one randomly. Let's pick this dude, Lewis. Let's go ahead and take a look at the homie Lewis here. He be looking pretty goddamn fresh, I'm not gonna lie. Lewis seems like the type of dude to actually treat a woman with respect. I mean, for crying out fucking loud, dude, he took time out of his day to write so pretty on an OnlyFans model's post. You literally can't make that up. You are never going to catch me doing that. You might catch me talking some shit, but saying, yo, babe, you're so pretty. No. Either way, Lewis seems like a really nice guy, and he just seems like he'd treat women with respect. However, what woman is gonna give that man a chance? You feel what I'm saying here? You guys know the saying, nice guys finish last. Yeah, well, they finish last for a fucking reason, and it's not man's fault there, okay? It is not a dude's fault. They can't help it, even if they're fucking ugly. They can't help that shit. And again, how are you gonna make posts like this on the internet and just expect to be treated like anything other than a fucking hole? Anyways, that's just the beginning. Let's continue on here, fellas. So then she continues to say, a guy treats a woman with respect and holds the door open for her without expecting sex in return? What a fucking simp. Well, honestly, she hit that nail right on the head. How dare he treat a woman as anything other than a sex object? Now you are speaking some goddamn facts. Thank you. A guy insults a random woman on the street, causing her to slap him, which he then responds by knocking her out. He is praised by thousands of scrotes because true equality this is what women wanted do you guys see the issue with what she just wrote there do you fucking see it here let me zoom in on that for you do you see now what the issue with that statement is like literally normal people just don't even fucking think about this shit but the fact that these female incels sit in their goddamn basements all fucking day man just writing this stupid shit on the internet i really really can't believe that people like this exist out there 
Anyways, I just want to make sure I got her story straight here. So basically, a dude on the side of the street gives a girl a compliment. She doesn't fucking like that. So she decides to hit him with a little baby bitch slap. Which in return, the man then decides to fucking KO this bitch. And to summarize what she's saying is that the woman should be able to get off here scot-free after slapping a random man on the street. That is definitely not the way it works, and that's definitely not the way it should ever work. I know that this subject can be a little controversial at times, but I'm someone that believes in equal forces. So for instance, if the guy hurls a slur at the woman, she should turn around and just call him one back, move on with your day, like it's literally not a big fucking deal. Now if you go out of your way to slap that man, you are now getting physical with someone that's bigger than you, you kind of deserve to get your ass KO'd at that point. Remove the genders from this scenario right like let's say it's two men in this scenario if a smaller dude decides to smack a larger man like you just deserve to get your ass knocked out at that point bro i don't know what to tell you fellas with that being said we are only a quarter of the way through this post i can't handle any more today dude okay i'm sorry guys i just my brain feels like fucking mashed potatoes right now and I just don't know how to handle it. This shit that I read on the internet, it actually makes me feel stupider at the end of the day. And as you guys know, I am trying to hold my title for the best gynecologist in my state while I manage to work towards the best gynecologist in the fucking nation. And I can't be doing that if I got fucking macaroni for a goddamn brain. Anyways, guys, with that being said, if this video does okay, I will make a part two follow up and we will go through the rest of the post here look guys the moral of the story is that i don't fucking care how big your nose is what color you are how small your titties might be or which of the 76 genders you would like to be i literally don't give a fuck like just treat someone else with respect if you want to get respect in return and if you decide to do some dumb shit you deserve to be clowned on at that point but guys with all that being said that is it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like if you enjoy the content and you guys know by now if you don't enjoy the content like you don't have to leave a like you know i mean you could leave a dislike if you really like i mean if you really want to show hatred towards me that bad just leave a fucking dislike i i, I could care less at this point anyways just remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below um about some shit in this video i don't really know what but i don't know man just fucking say something down there guys i will catch you guys next time later All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas technology is changing the world around us and it's changing faster than we could even imagine i remember when i was growing up as a kid if i really wanted to find some weird individuals i would go into the band room of my school when you bust those doors open you could expect to see a fat white chick running around the room screaming some crazy phrases And that was just normal like that was normal for the band room and they're always just walking around singing dumb shit and I just it's just it's, that was normal man that was normal nowadays though if you want to find the weirdos it's actually really easy to do and you can do it anytime throughout the day all you have to do is go on TikTok. Now, as most of you know, I am not an advocate for TikTok, all right? If you like to touch children and you have a strong sexual desire for women under the age of 18, this is probably your app, bro. This is probably the right space for you. However, as most of you guys know, I can't be promoting that kind of behavior. Now, if you want to try and be that type of person, at least have a little bit of self-respect and do what my homie Big Les does here. So first, 
First, we have a female that posts a hot picture of herself, and she says, what's better than gray joggers? My homie Big Les did not hold back here, okay? This man left nothing in the tank. He says, no joggers, while my cock goes in and out of ya, minge at 50 miles an hour till you get a friction burn. I mean, just look at the homie Leslie, bro. Tell me this guy isn't gonna take you to pound town. I feel like Big Les is the same type of dude that would walk around naked in the gym locker room just for the fuck of it, because, like, he literally has nothing better else to do today, so he's just gonna hang out, fucking sit around naked, and look at boys in the men's locker room, like, at least he went on Twitter, okay, and this girl was above the age of 18. I gotta give him that. Like, these females gotta expect these type of replies nowadays. But anyways, you want to see the weirdos, okay? Big Les was probably not enough for you. Let's turn it up a notch, fellas, and let's go to TikTok. Please don't give me another wedgie. I'm just an innocent nerd. Ha, fucking nerd. It's time for your wedgie, you fucking nerd. Please don't wedgie me. Oh, wedgie. I hate being a nerd. Fucking nerd. I literally just have no words, fellas. Like, I don't know how you make a video like this. And after you go back, you edit it, you watch through it, you're like, oh, fuck yeah. I'm about to put out some heat today, fellas. Like, call me crazy here, but wouldn't you be really fucking embarrassed if, like, I don't know, maybe your family, your mom, like, your cousins, like, maybe someone finds this video that you know of? There's no way you can be proud to put this kind of content on the internet. Imagine one day you go in for a job interview, you know, you fucking kill it, bro. You are hitting this interviewer with all the right answers left and right all goddamn day. And just before he offers you the job, he's like, hey, bro, uh, you want to explain this fucking shit to me right quick before I even consider giving you a job? Like, how can I expect you to get your work done whenever apparently you just like to give yourself fucking wedgies all day? This type of video I would expect from someone that's like under the age of 13. But I, I mean, this dude looks at least 16 right? I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna assume that he rode the short bus to school and he just, he thinks he's that fucking special, all right? Anyways, that's enough of that video. Let's hope that I can find some actual good content on TikTok this time. You know, dude, at first I believed in equality, like everyone should have equal rights, but uh, after watching this video, I, I think I've reconsidered that some people need to have their rights taken away from them. Literally the only good thing I can say about this video here is that at least TikTok got this fat ass to actually stand up and move around a little bit. I'm really not the type of person to fat shame very often, but when your stomach hangs into your pants, and there's no way this guy's seen his fucking dick in like how many years, fellas? How many years? Take a guess. Put it down in the comments section. Like, I'm just trying to think, dude, if this guy actually wanted to fucking jack off, there's no way his arm is reaching over that stomach down there. He has to like lay in the shape of a banana just so he can reach around his fat and actually grab his penis. Like, God, bro, that's that's a really, really sad life. Like, I'm, I'm about to fucking cry making this shit, man. Either way like how do you fucking wake up in the morning and be like you know dude i really have a fire video idea and i'm gonna dress up like a fat ass pikachu and i'm just gonna dance around on the screen for about five seconds how the fuck do you even come up with that idea honest to god bro you gotta be making these videos just knowing that people are gonna find it cringy and that's the only way you could get views you know because you suck at everything else in life all right well now that i have contracted aids for today from tiktok of course um i have one final post here i'm running on about one percent brain power i might drop dead if this is a bad post fellas i'm just warning you it might actually happen here so african goddess please do not let me down men want sons over daughters because it's easier to pass down gender-based bigotry and patriarchy than it is to raise a potential victim to their own ideas and behaviors you know what bro like that's that's fucking enough guys i'm i'm fucking out i'm so done with this i can't do this anymore i don't want to be doing this anymore dude i want to stop somebody call an ambulance <laughs>
Guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. And you guys know, if you don't enjoy the content, like, I don't know, dude. Just go fuck yourself at this point. Guys, I will catch you all next time. Later. In a world full of women that love to lie, take advantage of men, and most importantly, abuse their own powers, I, Dr. Bolo, am here today to be the light shining at the end of the tunnel with nothing but the truth to lead you down the path of righteousness. All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas things have really gotten out of hand this week you might already know what i'm talking about but if you don't basically only fans models have started creating fake news articles with fake headlines on them in order to gain some publicity in hopes that they go viral today we're going to be talking about one model in particular but i want to mention this has happened to me multiple times already in fact earlier this week i sat down to record a commentary about a news article that i found on an OnlyFans model and turns out the entire news article was fake so i had to find something new to make a video about anyways before before we dive into the exposing, one thing I would like to briefly mention here, I will throw some visual evidence up on the screen alright fellas, but I'm not going to be dropping her name. Clearly she created these articles in order to gain publicity and well, I would just be a hypocrite if I'm exposing someone and at the same time giving them what they want. It just doesn't work like that man. Also, I guess I should mention that these articles we're looking at today is just as real as the core I'm going to be giving away, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you could be entered into getting a completely free car, all expenses paid on me. And with all that being said, let's get into it here, fellas. So starting off here, we have an article that was posted on CNN Entertainment by Michael Porter. The first red flag in this scenario here is that CNN actually has a web page that looks like this. You can go on there and find any sort of journalist or staff member of CNN. Michael Porter does not exist there, okay? Michael Porter actually is a basketball player. It could be a coincidence that she chose this name, but it's also really fishy that Michael doesn't work at CNN. Red flag number two was look at the title of this article all right high school teacher in all capital fired after going viral on OnlyFans with student this is not an article title this is a youtube title most journalists at least have enough self-dignity and respect for themselves not to title stuff like this and lastly i would like for you guys to pay attention to the fact that this was posted september 25th 2020 and just take a brief look at the description down there former covington catholic high school teacher that's about all we need to know at this point let's go on to the other articles i have here starting on the left here she actually screenshotted the article and uploaded it to her twitter account let it be known he was a former student with the dead emoji however if you look at the title it's the same exact title right again posted by cnn entertainment but this time it's by amy lee so supposedly two co-workers did not talk to each other and amy lee who also is not on the staff list at cnn supposedly posted the exact same article five days later Later. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and move over to the article on the right. A couple things to take note of here. Number one, the title is the exact same as always so far. This one's written by Amy Lee, again, who does not work at CNN. The time it was last updated is the exact same as the article on the left. However, you'll notice that the pictures used in the article are different. And if you look right below the pictures, you'll see the former Covington Catholic High School teacher. Oh, wait, that's that's Michael's work, though. Amy, how how'd you what? This, this doesn't make any sense, man. Oh, Dr. Bobo, you know that this is just a coincidence. 
and you're just wrong. First off, go fuck yourself, unicorn. And for those of you guys that still aren't convinced, I did a Google search with her exact name in the title, OnlyFans Afterward, and then the title of the article, which has been consistent along three articles we've seen so far. Put that in Google, and the first thing that pops up is an iFunny post. Second thing that pops up is a Twitter account. You go to CNN Entertainment, it is not there within the search engine. At this point, if you do not believe that these articles have been faked, you are so fucking dumb, it actually hurts me. I just want you to know that it's actually gonna hurt me. I believe that I can now firmly state these females are indeed lying. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and write a quick prescription here, Dr. Bolo. Perfect. This bitch has been prescribed a hoe. Also, it's bad enough to be caught in 4K, but damn, bro, we got this bitch in 65,535K. At the end of the day, fellas, I understand that these females, they're just out here, bro, trying to make some fucking money. Like, I get it. I really do, okay? But, like, at least have enough self-respect, okay? I know that's already at the bottom of the barrel with the pictures you're posting of yourself online, but at least have enough self self-respect to not fake these articles that anyone with a goddamn brain can decipher and know it's so clearly fake and staged. I mean, rather than wasting all this time and energy creating these fake articles, dude, wouldn't you rather just take a couple minutes out of your day and make a bait post on Twitter like this? Would you kick me in the head for a million? Another thing to notice that's actually really funny is in this picture I previously posted up on your screen, at the bottom left she says, quit asking for the video when it's literally on my only fans for three dollars she's talking about the time that she supposedly posted a adult film with a student right again this is all 100 percent staged but when you actually go to her only fans she claims it's just three dollars right three dollars and you can watch the video um that's actually locked behind another 35 dollar paywall honestly dude you just can't make this shit up at this point Anyways, guys, Detective Baloney's work here, I can finally say, is done. However, if you guys want to stick around for a minute, I have a couple of funny comments I can show off here. This guy says, Wish I was in school. Still never had teachers like this one. You're one hot milf I would love to spank. Damn, very beautiful too. I mean, that was a nice comment, right? You know, if I got a comment and some dude's like, Damn, you're one hot dilf. I want to spank your ass. I'd be like, Damn, bro, there's a dude out there that actually wants to spank my ass? Like, damn. And then you have dudes on the opposite end of the spectrum that are saying, how about you literally give it to me for free, moron? I know we've already seen a lot of dumb shit within this video, but trying to bully an OnlyFans model on Twitter into giving you her nudes for free when they're already $3? Damn, bro, that that's literally an all-time low. I mean, this guy, this guy for crying out loud hasn't even been down that goddamn bad anyways guys that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like if you enjoy the content and i will catch you guys next time later All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas before we dive into today's topic there's one huge announcement that i'd like to make on the channel and that is the green penis will be returning some of you might be a little unfamiliar with who the green penis is essentially this is one of the most prestigious awards that you could ever receive within your lifetime essentially throughout the week whoever leaves the funniest comment on one of my videos it can be about the video itself or it can just be a funny joke that you heard i don't care whoever leaves the funniest comment that i see of the week you might earn yourself a green penis for example right here we have e who says it's better to come in the sink than it is to sink in the cum and that's actually a quote by sun Tzu, the art of war 
Wow, that that is some poetry right there if I've ever heard some ladies and gentlemen. E, congratulations to you, homie. You have won the green penis. A couple of things to note about the award is that I can only give it out on Sundays, so that way you guys have an entire week to post your comments. And number two is that you kind of got to be careful with profanity in your comments on YouTube anymore. This one actually got deleted, but I was able to screenshot it fast enough before YouTube deleted it. I just want you guys to know that I I've literally never deleted a comment on this channel, okay? And nor do I ever care enough to actually go out of my way and delete that shit. Maybe you're not a huge fan of the green penis at the moment. You are here for one thing and one thing only, and that is shut the fuck up, Dr. Bolo. I just want to see Azra's fucking camel toe on her stream. Dr. Bolo, I only come here to see hot pussy, and I don't care to ever hear your voice again. Just show me the boobies, you fucking idiot. Oh, you motherfucker. You have really pissed me the fuck off, you goddamn motherfucker, you corn son of a bitch. Oh, guys, I am so incredibly sorry you had to witness that right there. Holy shit. I did uh, not expect for that to happen as soon as I started up this commentary, but that's neither here nor there. Guys, if you see any unicorns down in the comments section below, will you please, and I beg you, please just drop them an STFU in their face, which stands for stop trolling for mother fucking unicorns and shut the fuck up anyways that's enough fucking around fellas let's get to the triple x sexy sexy yoga Like, bro, what the fuck is that right there? Someone explain to me what the hell is she doing besides spreading her ass cheeks open to expose her smelly fart hole to the world. I myself am not much of a yoga connoisseur, but I feel like I could say with full confidence here, that ain't no motherfucking yoga. You may have learned that in a different video somewhere else on the internet, but you sure as shit did not learn that from yoga. Also, this is a really good stretch right here, fellas. You can really feel this one in your low back. Oh, you also feel your ass be way up in the motherfucking air while the camera is specifically zooming in on your ass cheeks as you face the opposite direction of the camera. Look, fellas, there's one thing I really learned from this session here today, and that is it only takes about a minute and 30 seconds to hold a physique like that. All you gotta do, get on your hands and knees, do some bullshit stretches, hang your camel toe out in the wind, and that right there is how you make a shit ton of money. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but as soon as she got done doing her minute of yoga for the day, um, pay attention to the daily sub count right here, you know, she just kind of reading up on some chat, talking with everyone, and, uh, oh, whoa, that's really weird, it just all of a sudden went from 50 to 75. Damn, dude, we're not at the goal now, now I gotta donate some more subs so we can hit the goal for today. As if having a donation goal to buy you a fucking house as if that isn't enough already you gotta increase the daily subs when we hit the goal come on man one thing i typically don't do is judge how a streamer's room looks you know some days our rooms are cleaner than others like i get it we're busy people in our lives but why do you have a bunch of half-eaten chicken wings laying on that's where your feet were woman what the hell and also, she's got like a bunch of cat nibble all over the floor. This is absolutely disgusting, dude. Now, some of you may already know this, but the best part of any stream that involves a titty streamer is the comments section themselves, okay? It starts off a little mellow, right? This is all within the span of a minute and 30 seconds, by the way. Whenever she first starts doing a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to fucking call it yoga because I don't know what the fuck that was, honestly. But the comments start off a little on the tame side and then they 
uh, they really start to ramp up here at the end. First off here, we have a dude saying, okay, just send me to horny jail. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy, right? No, no, no that, that has to be Photoshop. Okay, on to, on to the next one. Show ass. Like, this man is not messing around today, Azra. All right, this man is here for business. He's here for one thing and one thing only. And also, bro, if, if this isn't showing enough ass for you, like, at that point, you need to get off this website and go to the hub, bro. Because, I mean, she can't. What else? do you want her to do besides drop her pants one of my personal favorites here is when azra is in this position right here this man holds nothing back he says bro she's gonna fart <laughs> if azra somehow managed to rip ass in this position right here bro i could only imagine what her comment section would look like i'm telling you dudes one day i am going to try this on twitch all right i'm gonna wear those tight little panties too you're just gonna see my dick imprint on my pants and twitch has to like they have to honor me right there's no way they're gonna ban me because you can see my testicles but at the same time we can look at azra's camel toe in it oh oh that's okay listen i am a man of equality i'm a man of science and with that being said azra please feel free to accept this prescription handwritten from my own self you've been prescribed the hoe bitch Th that's all there is to it man like <laughs> whatever you're selling out on twitch like this you know that she's just run out of ideas for content at that point not gonna lie i respect the hustle bro i really do like them titties clearly ain't paying for that house at the moment it's time to step up that game she one way or another bro she's gonna get this goddamn house but guys with all that being said that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys would like to support the channel consider becoming a member and also subscribe to the channel if you're new all right and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the content and i will catch you guys next time later All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna learn why some women in particular they just don't deserve respect bro they just simply don't deserve to be respected you guys know how on call of duty they have the lobby leaderboards where it's like you know oh you're in the top 10 percent of search and destroy players i want you to think of it like that but instead of call of duty search and destroy we're gonna be talking about the world's craziest fucking women to ever walk this planet and this bitch is in the top one percent which makes her a goddamn lunatic but anyways before we hop into the story i need to give someone the crown someone today because it's sunday will earn the most prestigious award they might ever earn in their lifetime if i'm being completely honest here that is the green penis and this week it's gonna go out to lucid he says i would rather shove a cactus up my urethra than play cold war and all I gotta say is, god damn, bro, like, are you okay? Shit. Congratulations to Lucid on this week's green penis. You yourself can one day earn this prestigious award yourself. All you have to do is leave a funny comment down in the comment section below, and maybe next week I'll choose you. But anyways, guys, without wasting any more time, let's get into it here. First off, I like how she tags her story here as queen shit, but we'll soon learn that this is nothing other than bitch made shit. I'm a live-in girlfriend, and I was otherwise super happy with my boyfriend. He was caring and loving and thoughtful, and all of the things I never had from a man. But something was... something was... Hey yo, what the fuck? Hold up, there's no way this is a causing slight but persistent annoyance, discomfort, or anxiety? Man, what? Anyways, I guess he was niggling in the back of my mind. I have sex with my boyfriend at least once a day, if not more. We both have high sex drives, and on the most part, the sex is amazing. However, over the last couple of weeks, I have seen adult films in his search history multiple times. I kept trying to brush it off and beat myself with the stop being 
so insecure and controlling stick of adult film positive libbib films. Uh, I hope that's a typo and not like some pussy ass term that these women have made up. But anyways, continuing on here, because I didn't want to rock the boat, because deep down, I still for some reason believed his sexual pleasure in <laughs> masturbation to other women was more of a right than my own comfort in a relationship. Uh, no you didn't. <laughs> no, no you did not. If that was the case, you would not be butthurt over about it right now, talking to a bunch of females on the internet looking for sympathy. Like, bitch, you probably got on his laptop and saw some girl in a bikini in the background of a website and got all fucking butthurt about it. Anyways, anyways, uh, let's just continue on with the story here. <laughs> Sorry for that little interruption there. Today, I woke up and thought, Fuck that! My boundaries are important, and I don't need to put up with this shit! Why the hell is my boyfriend masturbating over female exploitation when he literally has a successful, beautiful woman right under the same roof as him? I remembered who the fuck I am, and I broke up with him. I told him that I don't care what society may say, I don't care if all men do it, it's not something I'm willing to tolerate, and I'd rather be single and loving myself for the rest of my life than feel like I'm competing with adult filmography and turning a blind eye to my significant other objectifying women on a regular basis. Holy fuck, you sound butthurt. Guys, before we move on here, do you mind if I just, uh... Uh, thank you, bitch. You have been prescribed a hoe today. Uh, you are welcome anytime between the hours of like 9 and 5 p.m. You can stop by my office, you know, and uh, just pick up this little prescription I wrote for you because today you've been prescribed a fucking hoe, bitch. First off, I can tell you're lying because you claim to have sex with this man every single day, sometimes more than once a day, but yet he's still masturbating at night? That, that doesn't really make sense, you know? Like, maybe if he was getting enough fucking pussy in his life, he wouldn't have to take care of it himself. And the second lie here within this story, she claims to be a successful, beautiful woman, but again, if that was the case, he wouldn't need to go watch these videos on the internet. Now look, I understand everyone's relationship is a little bit different than each other's, everyone's got their own specific set of rules, but if you're an adult and you want to watch a little bit of ass on the internet, like, who really gives a fuck at that point, you know? I could understand if maybe, like, your boyfriend was walking around the house just, like, mumbling, Oh god, I just want to fuck Riley Reed so bad. But you didn't state that here, and also, at the end of your story, which I didn't read this last passage here, I think- I think I should, okay? I was gonna leave this out of the video, but I actually think it provides a little bit of important information here. She says, Never again will I let a male-dominated society tell me that my boundaries and my comfort in a relationship are less important than their desire to get off over adult films. If it's just me and my vibrator, if it's just me and my vibrator, oh, okay, yeah, so you can have a vibrator, you can have a sexual toy that provides nothing but a little bit of pleasure to you, but my man wants to watch a little bit of ass on the internet and he can't even do that? What kind of equality do you call this bullshit? I highly doubt this was the case, but what if that man felt like he was so insecure within that moment because he's like, Oh shit, my penis doesn't vibrate. I'll never be able to please her like that toy. It's actually really insane how butthurt she sounds in this paragraph right now. But one thing that's also just not really sitting well with me at the moment, you mentioned nothing about actually just talking to this fucking guy. Did you ever consider just saying something like, Hey, I don't appreciate you watching these really hot women get fucked in their ass on the internet. Could you please not do that? It makes me feel insecure. She says nothing about that. Instead, one day, the homie was just sitting there watching a little bit of Lana Rhodes, busting a little, you know, having a little self-pleasure. And after he cleans himself up, he goes looking around the house and he's like, God damn, where did my girl go? Turns out she packed her bags and left to go live with her mom. 
Although she was living with her boyfriend at the time, she sounds she sounds pretty immature if I'm being completely honest here. She just doesn't seem to have a lot of experience because I feel like most women that actually have a brain would understand that, you know, after a dude has been fucking the same pussy for, you know, a relatively long amount of time, eventually he's going to get bored of it and he's going to want to move on. So that's when he turns to adult films. It's always better to turn to porn. Shit, I can't say that. It's always better to turn to adult films than it is to actually stick your wiener in another human, you know? Like, th that that's just the way I look at it. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. I don't know, man. I just say take that relationship out behind the barn and just fucking put it down at this point. It deserves to just die and fizzle out. Like, I really am going to pray to God that this man never lets this woman back in his life. She's fucking crazy, bro. She's a fucking lunatic. And get that through your goddamn skull. But guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Consider becoming a member if you would like to support the channel. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, we're going to be taking a look at the world's worst wedding. I'm going to call it alright because this thing, this thing's a dumpster fire. I'm not going to lie, I've been to a couple weddings before where you're like, man, this is this is just kind of weird. I don't, I don't really know about this. This is on a whole nother planet. Anyways, without wasting any more time, fellas, let's get into the action. <laughs> well, you, you can, well, you you can, can leave. Perfect. No, okay. no it's not you have to leave. <laughs> that dress you're calm wearing, we've just calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> you're not going to ruin my You day. are not going to say my okay. son has flaws. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws, and that's why I love them. Uh, you can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. You <laughs> can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. Yes, that you dress are. you're wearing, I paid for. Let's do this. Get out. I'm not getting out. Try it, and I'll have you arrested. Tony, get her out of here. That's this is not right. Church, this is not. All right, uh, we're halfway through this video. I thought, like, maybe let's just take a little fucking time out here and like see what see what. Let's break down what's happening. So clearly, the mother here of the man in this relationship, she's not too fucking happy at the moment. Clearly, we don't know all of the background story here, but I guess, I guess supposedly the woman said he has some flaws. I don't know, man. Call me crazy here, but like, don't you think they should have had this conversation a little while ago? Like, of all places, of all times to get in an argument with someone, like typically when you go to a wedding, you just don't sit there and argue with the fucking bride that's on stage. A couple things to take away from here is you should not have ever let this woman pay for your dress for any part of your wedding whatsoever. You're literally never going to hear the end of that. That's going to be something that she wants written on her goddamn gravestone whenever she dies. And also like what a really awkward situation to put your husband in here because now he is having to decide, oh shit, do I support my son who's getting married today, who's up on stage at the moment? Or do I support my crazy fucking Karen wife? God, I, I'd rather just die. Just kill me at, at that moment, man. Tony, get her out of here. Let's this is not right. Church, this is not. Let's respect the wedding. I'm not leaving. Show some respect. Just hold your You show Let's just calm down. Let's say, hey, we don't need this. We don't need this. I don't want to hear any flaws about this. All right. You have the flaws right now. Are you kidding? Like an adult. You don't know how to act like an adult right now. Are you kidding? I give that man five hundred dollars because he wants to live high and mighty. Oh my god. This is not your day. It's not about you. No, but she's not about my son. It's not about you. She's in love with your son. Okay, that's the thing. Oh, and Tiny. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I think that this is honestly the most awkward encounter I've ever seen in my lifetime. 
Like, I swear to God, dude, this woman is acting like she's on the fucking sauce right now. Clearly, she does not like the woman that's trying to get married at the moment. But even more importantly, dude, she keeps bringing up the fucking money like every goddamn time. As someone that's a doctor, a medical professional, someone that believes in science, I would like to break down her logic. She says... I gave you $500 so you could live all high and mighty. Um, where the fuck did that come from? Like, in what instance, where the hell is this, like, this dollar amount even coming from? No one fucking said anything here. And I don't know about you guys, but in order for me to live a little bit of uh, the high and mighty lifestyle, I'm gonna need a lot more than fucking $500, Karen. I think most of us here know what happens the night of your wedding, all right? Look at this man's face right here. This man literally isn't even thinking about getting some pussy tonight. Instead, <laughs> instead he's thinking about how he's gonna fucking get rid of his mother in his life. I'm not gonna lie though, I expected a lot more out of this situation here. I really thought someone was going to throw a punch in this video. All I can say is that I doubt Karen's gonna get to see the grandkids too often, if you know what I'm saying. Guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna be talking about mia mcclova's first stream on twitch i really feel like i shouldn't have to explain who she is all right if you don't know who mia mcclova is you're either gay or under the age of 12 like there's really nothing in between there so anyways here's some visual evidence of her i'm not gonna lie bro she's pretty goddamn hot but before we get too far into the video fellas it's Sunday for crying out loud and you guys know what that means it is time to crown this week's green penis this week it's gonna be going out to Lil Gams who says you switch from Modern Warfare 19 s and to mass vehicular manslaughter with a monster truck I don't know why dude but I just find this comment to be so hilarious I know exactly what video he's talking about too anyways congrats to you Gams you are this week's green penis if you would like to be a green penis and earn this prestigious once in a lifetime award All you have to do is leave a funny comment down in the comment section below and maybe next week You can be a green penis yourself. Anyways guys without wasting any more goddamn time Let's get into it here So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that most of you watching this video right now have an idea of who Mia McClova is If you don't let's just say that she's best known for selling pictures and videos of her fucking pussy on the internet and i'm not gonna lie bro it's pretty goddamn good all right however the other day she started streaming on twitch you know just some normal e-girl stuff on the internet and then she kind of caught on to the twitch trend at the moment which seems to be hot tubs now when it comes to females on the internet especially those that have uh oh yeah big boobs there seems to be this phrase that goes around all the time and it goes a little something like these females are living on recruit difficulty and there's a lot of dudes out there that get pissed pretty fucking easily bro because they're just sitting there fuming in their goddamn gaming chairs like this is not right this is fucking bullshit bro she didn't have to work for her views like I did this isn't fucking fair and there's also a lot of women out there that absolutely hate that phrase because they don't think that's the case all right they think they have to work just as hard as a man to gain a following on the internet however you're gonna see in this video even mia knows what's up let's take a look at it i'm at 15k viewers these little perverts <laughs> i don't get it though like the entire internet can see me naked all right, dude, I ain't even gonna front. I fucking died when she referred to her viewers as perverts. I mean, honestly, dude, like how big of a fucking loser do you have to be whenever your own goddess refers to you as a fucking 
Perv, how do you respond to that? How do you listen to that slander against yourself and just fucking accept it? Anyway, she brings up a good point. She's like, why is there 15,000 people here watching me right now when they can literally just go on the internet and see my fucking asshole if they wanted to? And I know there's gonna be a goddamn unicorn out there in the chat like, Hey, yo, Dr. Bolo, man, like... Fucking 15,000 people, bro, that ain't shit. I could do that on the weekend if I wanted to. Like, that's literally nobody. Um, how about a million views in two days on your VOD, okay? Getting a million views in two days on YouTube, like, don't get me wrong, bro. That's a big fucking deal, but a million views in two days on Twitch? That's, that's fucking unreal. Especially for someone that has half a million followers, right? Like, she don't even have a fucking mill. And on top of that, it's in two days on Twitch? And also, at the time of me recording this, she's only streamed like 10 times in her career. Just for a reference, Tfue, who has 10 million followers, averages like four to 500,000 for a video. All right, now as most of you know, one of the best parts about when a woman streams herself in a hot tub is the comment section themselves. There's a lot of weird fucks out there, bro. And they're just not afraid. They are not afraid to say some fucked up shit on Twitch. And it's honestly one of my favorite things in the world. The lights are yellow and I thought you'd be in the tub. No, I did not. I'm not going to sit in this tub and soak in my own goddamn pee, okay? I'm a fucking woman. I have some respect for myself. I would appreciate it if you would give me some respect as well, motherfucker. You act like I post goddamn naked pictures on the fucking internet and play with my pussy for a living. Well, news for you. I respect myself and my body, and I am going to do as I please. I am a strong, independent, badass bitch, and I will only be respected as I should be goddess Mia anyways after her stream I was really sitting there trying to decipher something and I'm like bro who the fuck is actually taking time out of their day to watch a stream like this I mean she said it herself you can find her asshole anywhere on the internet that you want and then you know something kind of hit me and at first you know I was like oh it's just a bunch of fucking 13 year old horny bastards out there that are just trying to jerk off to a girl in a bikini for crying out loud but then after thinking about it a little bit more i'm like you know there actually might be some dudes in this chat that are like above the age they're like 30 to 60 years old and here's why i really think a lot of dudes they're not so much interested in her fucking asshole or vagina right like they're there for the looks obviously don't get me wrong but at the same time they have an opportunity of a lifetime to just interact with their true goddess like, you know, if you go on the internet and you just watch a video of Mia, there's not really, like, there's not a connection there, you know? Like, at the end of the day, you're just watching a rubber clip for a little bit. But if you're here in a Twitch chat, you're typing to her, there is an opportunity, there's a chance that she's gonna read your message and respond to you. I really think that has some sort of, like, psychological effect on these people. It's like a dopamine effect, right? Well, I mean, it's like fucking crack. She responds to that first comment, and from there on, it's just fucking over at that point. Then they're gonna go out of their way, right? They're gonna gift a ton of fucking subs because they wanna keep getting noticed by Goddess. Anyways, there you go. There's my fucking scientific discovery of the day by Dr. Bolo himself, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, and she also tells stories like this. Um, and I've also had my clip pierced before. Like, we on there. My clip, I pierced it when I was... Um, 18, I pierced it, and the reason that I took the clip piercing out, because I thought it looked really cute, I took it out because when someone would go down on me, they would pull on it, and it wouldn't feel good, you know, so I, I decided that was the time when I got into the adult industry. Honestly, fellas, I'm not even mad, like, I fucking respect the hell out of Mia for doing this, I mean, she said it herself. 
But guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. And also, fellas, you know, I'm a doctor. I'm a man of science. I'm a goddamn fucking gynecologist, best in my state. I want to start a new movement, all right? I want to start a support the MILFs movement here. So, obviously leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs and i will catch you guys next time later all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas have you guys ever seen those promposal videos if you don't know what a promposal is, essentially, it's when a dude tries to get a little romantic, a little creative, and ask a significant other, or, you know, a woman, whoever, maybe you're gay, dude, okay, maybe you're gay, you're asking out a guy, I don't know. But either way, essentially, you try to get a little creative and ask them out. Like, here's an example right here, like, sometimes dudes really go out of their way, they put down, like, a thousand candles that says prom, question mark. Well, this might sound a little harsh now that I think about it, but I love when these go wrong. And before we hop into the video, I gotta say, I f***ing hate promposals, alright? Back when I was in high school, this was a really big thing, like, every f***ing woman wanted to feel like Cinderella and you had to ask him out in a cute way. Maybe you're a f***ing simp and this is the opportunity of a lifetime for you. But dude, like, I just want to f***ing ask you. Do I really have to put in all this extra work? Anyways, anyways, okay, I'm getting off track here. We're gonna be taking a look at this video here. Like I said, this is my favorite promposal of all time. Now, just to give you guys some context here, this guy grabbed his girlfriend and they hopped in the car and he planted these signs on the side of the road. So like, like every 30 seconds she can see a new sign and it basically it's just gonna ask her if she'll go to prom with him and uh things things didn't quite go as planned let's take a look here fellas All right, first off, yo, Daniel, fucking hold this L, bitch. As for the woman, I really appreciate how open and honest she is here in this situation. She just straight up says to my man, Daniel, yo, that's a shitty way to ask someone to prom. And then, of course, once she finds out, she starts crying like a little bitch, okay? At least double down and be like, Daniel, that's fucking dumb, you idiot. You know, I'm trying to think how I would feel if that were me in this situation here. And honestly, dude, I just, I can't come up with an answer. Because it depends, like, is she your girlfriend? If she is, then I think I should be able to ask another female to prom. And if it's not my girlfriend, well, I'm gonna turn around, I will drop you off at home, and I will go ask another bitch to prom but obviously like that all depends on how many feelings you have for this girl and you guys know that shit okay all right now as for the video that i actually want to show you guys today this isn't technically a promposal all right i i don't know what the fuck you'd actually call this i guess they were dating like in high school and now a couple years later he wants her back so this is the best way i guess he thought of to ask her again just to give you guys a little bit of context of what's actually happening here so he had a female go pick up his girlfriend she's having her stand on a ledge right here as you can see and this guy is going to go through 5,000 goddamn sheets of paper of just 
fucking bullshit that literally no one cares to read, all right, bro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to say that, man, but it's fucking true. But essentially, the blonde woman is going to be doing a trust fall where you fall backwards and you let your friend catch you. The blonde girl thinks that her friend, that's a female, is going to be catching her when in reality, because she's blindfolded, okay? She's blindfolded. When in reality, it's actually going to be the dude. And I just got to play the video, dude, okay? This is really fucking awkward and and it does not go that well in my opinion, but you know what? Let's just play it. This is obviously sped up here. This video is actually like four and a half minutes long. This bitch has been standing here for a little over three and a half minutes. How the fuck do you not question anything? Like you don't hear these papers smacking the ground and go, hey, yo, Brittany, what the fuck is that behind me? Anyways, that's just my two sins. Let's get into the action here. Promise. Literally, this is only a question that a blonde woman would ask in this situation. She goes, hey, Laura, did you happen to grow a beard in the three and a half minutes I was standing there? That's definitely the dumbest shit I've heard this week. But like, do you guys understand why I say this is so awkward now? I don't, I don't get why when she fell back in his arms, this man decided it was okay to like get up all in her fucking face. I mean, she could literally feel his breath on her nose and then she like starts squirming for help and he's just like awkwardly holding her down i don't know dude i don't know i just i don't fucking like this situation all right i mean like yeah it has a happy ending you know not the type of happy ending most of you are probably thinking about maybe it's just me bro but i probably would have cut that part out of the video it's just it's really awkward and it doesn't really make you look good you know there's nothing like having you on video when a girl is squirming asking who you are while she's blind folded and there you are just you know fucking holding her down pinning her against her will yeah i don't know if my employer is gonna want to see that video you feel me but i mean i kind of understand where this guy's coming from she's pretty fucking hot you're definitely a dumbass for leaving her in high school but i don't know fellas i just i just didn't really like the overall vibe this video gave me just like from the beginning this man dropped the whole fucking amazon rainforest on the ground and i don't want to say this video went wrong but it definitely could have gone a lot better but any Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like to support the MILFs, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Suck, my god. That's what happens when you fuck with a gynecologist. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got fucked yeah, by dude, the poos. Eight years in college does a lot to a man. <laughs>